Hey, it's Ryan. Welcome to episode eight of the 650L Project Bike video series. And uh, today's going to be a good day, hopefully. Um, we're going to finish mounting up this tank. We've got the new rubber puck. You'll see what was on there before. It's kind of funny. I got the new front mounts. I'm probably going to replace the O ring um, on the petcock uh, just because um, I imagine it's going to be leaking. Um, and then once that's on, uh, there's no reason why we can't start up the bike and take it for a little run. Obviously, we have plenty of um, big projects we still need to do, but as far as being able to get the bike rolling, um, kind of a kind of a big goal, and I feel like it'll give me the motivation to get to the bigger project. So um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, and we'll jump into it. All right, I got the IMS tank on the bench. Um, I was rinsing it out with some crappy fuel that I had and dumping it just to kind of get a little bit of the debris out. And then as I was doing that, I noticed the petcock was leaking. So um, the good news is in the hardware kit that I got from IMS for mounting it, there was a new O-ring. Um, I already have it installed, um, but I just got lucky with getting a new one. So I knew the tank wasn't sitting right when I got the bike. Um, the front rubbers are there, but this is what was underneath the tank when I took it off. Um, some little homemade plastic washer. Uh, taped together um, and it was super sloppy. So I got a brand new rubber uh, mount and um, I have new front mounting brackets for the IMS tank. So we're gonna mount it up and hopefully it uh, clears everything because it was rubbing on one of the big fins, the, the petcock was, so um, we're trying to avoid that. So got the tank installed with the new brackets, but I have two concerns. Uh, first one is how close this is. You can hear that it's there's basically no gap, um, so I think it might be worth shaving this fin a little bit. How these ones are, and just kind of match it, and then I'll show you on the other side as well. So the tank has marks from just sitting on this top fin. Um, I, I don't know, plastic tank rubbing on the. Uh, rubbing on the motor doesn't uh, sit super well with me. So I think if we just trimmed uh, this top one on this side and I think it's like the fourth fin on the other side, um, just a little bit better peace of mind. Cause I mean, there's like the, the plastic from the tank is uh, kind of getting eaten away. The last thing you want to do is punch a hole on it and start a fire or something. So besides those two issues with the rubbing on both sides, um, Tank mounted up well. The new rubber mount um, made a world of difference compared to those stacked washers. I'm going to uh, put some fresh fuel in and uh, see if I can't get this thing fired up. Well, kind of a bummer. I got the tank on. I put the seat on. I put the side panels on. And I went to start the bike, and it won't start. Um, and it seems like I have no spark again. So I'm going to pull the plug and double check. But uh, I think it's just this uh, bad ground that keeps coming back and causing me problems. Well, it's uh, turned into a day of chasing electrical around. Um, the, the ground's been a pain in the butt, so I snipped off the ends uh, with the connector, and I'm hoping this is the issue. You can see the one closest to the camera. It's got some um, pieces out of the uh, insulation. So I'll put a new connector on, crimp those up, and then see if we can get some spark. Well, I redid the ground, um, and that wasn't the problem. Um, so I resorted to uh, just hitting stuff. Um, after whacking the CDI box a couple of times, I got spark back. So um, I think we chalked it up to uh, the CDI is starting to go bad. So we'll order one of those. In the meantime, we'll see if we can't get this thing started. All right, we got it started. It should, it should make it a short distance at least. Um, so here goes nothing. 
First time throwing my leg over it. It's pretty tall. We got front brakes, we got rear brakes. Key. Starts right up. All right, clutches in. Going down a gear. Oh, we're rolling. Bumpy. farther than I thought. Alright, so we did a lap. See if we can uh, do a lap around the old motocross track. Non-existent, but these were our these were our flat turns. Oh, yeah. oh, I think I cut it short. We come here. Oh, squirrel hole. Oh, my goodness. Can I turn one? Oh, weeds. Ow, stickers. Two little tables, now this is full of stuff, but this was a little double. My goal is to make kind of like a, I don't know what you want to call it, a, a course that I can do every bike on and then we can compare how the bikes do. But man, this thing is, this thing is stiff. So a pretty cool day. We got to take the bike for its first little trip. Um, we rode out in the backfield and took it down the street. Um, all in all, it felt pretty good. Uh, it felt really stiff. Um, it felt like riding on marbles because these tires are super hard. Uh, but uh, overall, it was, it was really cool. Good experience. I think we're just about 
just about two months on the nose from picking the bike up to having its first ride. And uh, I, th I thought it performed pretty well. I think uh, I did just just over two miles on it and uh, maybe, maybe not even that. And maybe like a mile and a half, something. Um, but but super cool. Uh, I'm really excited to kind of jump into more in-depth, um, like making the bike look better, but also perform better now that we know that uh, we could turn the key, start it up, and go for a ride. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in for the last two months. And this is by no means the end of this project. I think now is going to be kind of the fun stuff, um, making the bike look cool, uh, making it perform better, and then, of course, going on some uh, some good adventures with it. So um, thank you guys. And uh, like I said, this isn't the end. So we'll, uh, we'll see you next week.